Hello everyone, I'm Cecilia and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to make a travel shoe bag. This is the travel shoe bag we're going to make. It's a very easy to make shoe bag, beginner friendly, and it will take you about 15 minutes to make this bag. This is very useful for your luggage, for your gym shoes. It has a zipper. It doesn't have lining. That's why it, it'll take only 15 minutes to make the bag. It's got a handle and this depth here for your shoe. We're going to make this bag in four simple steps. Step one, getting our materials together. Step two, Inserting the zipper. I'll show you how to insert a zipper. Sim very, very simple process of inserting the zipper. Step three, the handle. How to make and insert the handle. And step four, putting the bag together. So without further ado, let's start making the bag. The first step, the materials. We will need, for this small shoe bag, we will need a, a fabric which is 14 inches by 24 inches. We'll need a, the zipper tape, the zipper pull. We will need fabric for the handle. You can use the same fabric, you can use another fabric. And for the handle is two and a half inches by nine inches long. So the main fabric, I have actually searched the main fab the fabric because this is waterproof canvas. I chose waterproof canvas for this fabric because, you know, with your shoes in there, you want to be able to wash the bag. And so the first step is to attach the fabric to the zipper. You attach the zipper to the short side of the fabric. Not the long side, but the short side to the fabric. And we always remember when attaching zippers, it's actually a very, it's very simple to attach zippers. Just the right side of the zipper to the right side of the fabric. The right side of the zipper to the right side of the fabric. So I'll, I'll use my clips to attach uh, the zipper to the right side of the fabric. There is a sort of a line where you, sh you can sew on. So it, it's not, it's not complicated. It's, it's, it's very beginner friendly. So let's do this. Attach the zipper to the fabric and then we'll, we'll sew it on. This project will take you about 15 minutes to do. It's easy, it's worth doing. So let's start. All right, let's backstitch, cut. Now you want to top stitch. So to top stitch, you could use an iron or you could press it with your fingers because this is a kind of, this is a waterproof canvas and it's not that easy to iron and I don't think it's really necessary for this project. I'm going to finger press it. So this is how we do it. Just finger press the fabric against the zipper tape all the way and let's do the top stitch. The reason to increase the stitch line is because it's nicer when the stitch line uh, is longer and you can actually see the stitch line on the top stitch. So. Okay, so now we back stitch. Okay, now, so we've done the first part of the zipper or oh, the first edge of the zipper. Now we'll do the other. So again, right sides together. And we'll, we'll do it to the other end of the zipper. Okay. I will put the link of where to get the continuous zipper. Uh, I got mine from Amazon and I buy quite a few meters at a time. Okay, so now 
I, because it's a continuous zipper, I can actually detach it and uh, do the top stitch. Again, I'm going to finger press it. So this is the other side of the zipper. Now we've done the zipper and we're going to insert the pull to the tape. I find the best way to insert the pull to the tape is to cut a tail with the actual zipper being shorter than the tail of, of the fabric. So the actual zipper is shorter. Now, all right, so this is the pull. It's really tiny and you want to look for the rounded bit of the pull, the rounded bit, hold on to it like this and make sure they align because if they don't, you can always do it again. So these two bits must align because that's the sewing part. And then you, you cut off the tail. Now, the next, so we finish step two to mark the center with pins. Now what you would do is you would now align the middle of the zipper to the pin. Align the middle of the zipper to the pin. Okay, so exactly the middle of the zipper to the pin and now you going to attach the handle. How do we make the handle? From this fabric, two and a half inches by nine inches, you would fold it into half, iron press it, and then you would fold each part again to reach the middle line. your clips on. So it's best to press everything with your iron. Okay. And then you would stitch it. Here's one I sewed earlier. So I'm just going to show you how to attach it. So what you do is, because the zipper is going to close this way, I like to put it in the top, one inch on either side of the zipper. So this is how you place it. One inch on either side of the zipper. Okay, and you would sew it down. Just sew it a, a few times so that you reinforce the stitch. Okay, so that's been stitched and cut off all these stray threads. And so we've, we've finished the third stage of making this shoe bag. Now we want to sew the whole bag together. To do that, you would open the zipper to more than half. But, but not more than that because you, you don't want the zipper pull to come off the tape. So just open it more than half, turn it upside down. Make sure that the handle is on the inside. Um, you know, it's nicely tucked, un tucked underneath and you are right in the center of the fabric. The middle point is there and after you do that you want to take in the sides by two to two and a half inches. The reason you do this is to ensure that there's a nice depth for your shoes. And again measure two inches Put a pin 
and we'll sew across. Okay, so let's do this. And remember to cut off all your stray threads. And the project's really been done. Now we're just going to turn it right sides together. Bit of embellishment on the zipper pull so that it pulls easily. I'm going to just put um, a ribbon. So I've cut this ribbon nine, in, nine inches long and I've done the um, edges like that so it went free and made a little tail there. And I'm just going to attach it. All right, how easy is this project? And it's done. And put your shoes in there. Thank you for watching. And if you like this project, thumbs up and subscribe. And please give me your comments and share the um, bags, the shoe bags that you have done. Thank you. Cecilia signing out.